Here, maybe I should be a little more involved in Blamcon testing here. This is my test rig. This is a little game canvas I made in Unity. And um, I have just done a uh, upgrade with Craig's latest build and done a hardware reset. So this is uncalibrated. Um, so what we're going to do is run through my usual set of trials and see where we are. So first thing I do is aim off screen, hold the B button down for a couple of seconds. That gets us into calibration mode. And uh, pull the trigger twice for rough calibration. And I'm going to ask for forgiveness if this isn't perfect. I am looking through a cell phone screen. This is actually really difficult to do. I'll try to do my best. All right. So it takes it a second to lock in and let's go to the center. And it looks like we have an excellent center. And let me go to the top. That is more than accurate for rough calibration. The bottom, bang on. The right, looks pretty bang on. And the left, there we go. So I would say we, we have a detailed calibration, but this is the test of the rough calibration. Uh, what we're going to do is now tilt it and go to all of the points and see if it remains the same. As long as I'm within the cross to a certain amount, it is perfect. The calibration again wasn't perfect, so now I'm going to tilt it to the other side. And actually here, as you can see, as it tilts, the point of aim is not moving. The big thing we're looking for is a consistent point of aim. I can use the offset calibration to get those last few pixels, but really what this test is about is testing all of the factors that are in the new firmware that are playing together. So that's a pass. So basically we've done the rough calibration, and now what we're gonna do is move offset. I'm gonna move way off to the side, like way off. Um, and actually go to the same distance, and then we are going to check the points again. So we are, this is basically a skew. Forgive me if my light's down there. So that's a skew is passed. So now we do skew with rotation. Let me speed these up. You can see it's staying right within the bounds of accuracy. Tilt it left. Um, that one's going a little out. Am I tilting just too far to the left? Oh, there it snapped to you. So there's a cursor averaging when you move things quickly. Um, because it's actually detecting, which we'll do next, whether you're moving in or out too. Because if I'm, if, here's an interesting thing. If I'm off center like this and I'm aiming at this, the actual distance to the screen is changing quite substantially. There's... If you look at how smooth the cursor is, there's a, a lot of math that Craig is using here to smooth the cursor so it doesn't jitter around. That is actually a user selectable option now in the firmware. So if you did want to use uh, a different algorithm for cursor smoothing or wanted to turn it right off, uh, sorry, I should actually narrate this. I'm now going to a different distance uh, I'm going way back, as you can see. And again, we are right on. So that means the scaling's working. Let's scale in. Scale in center. Oh, sorry, that's not center. That, it's sort of centered to me. I'm, uh, I'm way off to the left here. Let's go right to the right and scale it in. Oh, that is so nice to see. This is some pretty extreme movement for a light gun, right? Like I'm going way off to the right, way off to the left, way in, way out. And then I'm testing and even with skew. So I'm turning the gun quite a bit and I'm moving the gun out, aiming across the screen. I'm like, actually the gun's about like way over here. So, woof. So, Oh, if I turn it way too far, yeah, it's like, hey, you've turned it too much. So it does have like a lock if you do that. But I mean, this is well within any reasonable realm. So I would say um, this is a massive success. I would call this good enough. So I'm going to pass this back off to Craig. 
get his feedback and um, I'm going to do another round of detail testing with offsets and see if we need another version. I've been saying for a while that, you know, we need to get the accuracy down before we release. That's sort of the Blamcon proposition. Um, I would like your feedback in the comments whether you think this is um, good enough. I mean, I think it is. So I, I'm very excited. I mean, I don't know if you've tried light guns as a whole. Um, if you're, I, let me ramble on a bit. If you don't care about rambling, just leave. Um, if you do care about rambling, just hang out for a few minutes and learn a little, little bit about light guns. So um, the old school light guns, the ones for the CRT TVs, what they do is they have the scan lines that go across and they essentially black the screen and light up. So you actually have a huge hitbox uh, on like the ducks from Duck Hunt. And the gu gun itself has a light detector, which actually has a narrow cone. So actually your hitbox is about yay big and if you can see here i've created this tiny little cursor and my goal is to keep this dot inside the bounds of the cursor which is far more accurate than you even need for a light gun and there's another level to this i won't bother in this particular video but this is a separate test is we actually have offset calibration so if you wanted to get those one or two extra pixels you can um, i don't need to for this test because this is testing here's all the factors that play together skew, scaling, which is your distance in and out. Um, oh, sorry. Actually, I should say that again. This is a rotation or a skew is going offset because this creates sort of a parallelogram or sorry, a trapezoidal shape um, that has to be accounted for. So you have a lot of factors playing in here. You one, have the bounding box, which is what you set when you shoot the five points. Two, you have the uh, rotation here when I rotate it right or left. Three, you have your um, scaling, which is your distance in and out. And uh, four, you have skew, whether you're right or left. And hopefully you can see from this that all of those factors have been accounted for are playing well together. And uh, I don't think once we've left a little crosshair. Uh, one thing I like about this as a last note um, is there's no cheating here. There's nothing I can do to cheat. You are looking through the same camera I am. I am using a, uh, this isn't like a knockoff red dot. This is a Vortex Venom, one of the best red dots you can get. And I'm using a cursor where I have created a very small target and we're shooting within it. So um, this is legit, yo. And this is only from shooting the five points, not the offset, which is its own thing. Offsets, again, allow you to just get those last couple of pixels. But I mean, there's no way you're going to need more accurate than this. So I'm actually kind of excited that I decided to record this test because... Um, I mean, Craig put out three firmware versions yesterday. We've been dialing it in, dialing it in, dialing it in. And um, unless one of you objects, and if you do in the comments, please say what the objection is. I give this a pass. I am stoked. I think this is it. It's been a journey. So if you've been following our videos, if you're on our Discord, where we've been doing daily updates... Uh, thank you for your, for your patience. This has been, uh, an incredible journey full of pitfalls and just to see it all working. Um, and the amazing, like code Craig has written with all these different <laughs> incredible averaging algorithms and the trigonometry that's going into this that's allowing you to translate the movement of this physical object to a cursor on the screen and the fact that it does it so well and so smoothly and so fast um i think i am uh beside myself a bit so sweet action um, I will be posting a flood of updates over the next few days as we can uh, hopefully just take this to the next level.